What's going on? How are you guys today? It's a little late, so I'm trying to be quiet. Almost 2 in the morning, and I am just completely exhausted. Every day for the past few months or so has been like repeat. So I'll wake up between like 9 and 10 in the morning. I'll go down to Frankie's syringe meet, work a few hours, you know, be exhausted and hungry. So then I'll eat at like, you know, 3 or 4. I'll hang out on my computer, do some more work for an hour or two. Then I'll take a nap for a couple hours. Then I wake up and then I have more work to do, which I just finished now. So I worked from around 8 p.m. to, you know, 1.30 in the morning. I had to do some computer work. I had to make some water kefir for you guys. And I still have a lot of stuff to do. But uh, I do want to eat because if I don't, I'm just not going to have the energy. As much as, like, I used to be able to skip meals and just work all day for, you know, two, three days even without eating. Now I, I need to really eat twice a day. So uh, this is going to be more of a, like, meal update than a day of eating because of that. I did have this meal earlier in the day and the only difference is gonna be I had that with like a weight gain smoothie I've been making lately and this meal we're probably not gonna do that just because I don't want to run the blender so late and I don't like drinking that much liquid before going to bed because then I just wake up to use the bathroom but you guys are gonna laugh and that's why this is titled the uh, chubby Italian deli boy day of eating. So we got some bread alone sourdough bread. I've said this many times. You guys have seen it in a lot of recipes and videos. The only decent bread in the supermarket. It's not perfect, but it's good. Um, this one is like three days old, but it's only really good for two or three days after you buy it, nice and fresh. I have a rare cooked ribeye steak from Frankie's Free Range Meat, about half of it uh, from our meal earlier. And I think my parents ate my potato chips again. But we got a couple bags of organic uh, potato chips here. You know, it's funny because I don't even have room to put my food in the fridge or pantry and then my parents still eat my food. Like they have so much conventional crap yet they eat my potato chips. I don't get it, whatever. Uh, but th this is really the base of the meal. So we have a steak sandwich, which we're going to make and just potato chips. And all I really do is I, I slice this, you know, lengthwise a couple strips and then I dice it up and I put it on the bread. So with the meal, I'm going to have some of my macronutrient enzyme blend that's available on organ supplements. And I figured out the problem with the Wolb enzymes is that they put papain in it and that stuff's really, really damaging to your liver and there's quite a bit of it in there. Uh, bromelain isn't that good for your liver either, but uh, it's not as high, but it's still, you know, it was literally destroying my liver when I was taking this with every meal. At least it was helping me digest the food, but definitely don't, don't use that. I've also heard bad things that you know, Garden of Life was purchased by, uh, I believe, General Mills. And this is a, a Masticum option that you guys can get. Uh, I ran out of mine. I sold it all, so I've been using this for a couple days. And, of course, most importantly, we have some water kefir. Uh, some of you guys that have been buying this, just be a little careful. Make sure to release the gas when you open it up because it is carbonating as it's fermenting in the jar under pressure. And this is why my skin has been clear despite eating this crap. The only thing out of, you know, the, I don't know how many years now, 10, 15 years I've had acne all my life, only thing that's ever fixed it is drinking this water kefir consistently. You know, it doesn't really matter what I eat. If I have at least one full bottle, like four or five, six cups of water kefir per day, the acne stays away. I could eat whatever I want. All right, so we got a couple strips of the ribeye. I'm just going to cut it up into bite-sized pieces so that when we get into this sandwich... We're not, you know, ripping out huge chunks of meat. It's really as simple as that. And this is why Frankie better get his loan for his slaughterhouse so he can make some decent deli meats so I don't have to <laughs> cook a steak and throw it on some bread. I'd love to have some roast beef or anything, really. Normally, you guys see me take my enzymes in the middle of the meal after I have something in my stomach. And that's because the first meal of the day, I'm literally like ravenously hungry. My stomach's like completely empty and you don't want to put, you know, this stuff directly into your empty stomach. But since I ate earlier and this is my second meal and we're already over here, I can have my enzymes now with the masticum and I should eat and it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So I got a teaspoon of the digestive enzymes. I have to like swish it around a little bit because when you put the powder in your mouth like that, it kind of gets caked on a little bit. And then 
this mastic. Uh, this is definitely not as effective as um, as the mastic tears, but that's all I got for now. So next week, I'll try to show you guys the supplements I'm currently taking because I do those in my first meal. And it's not consistently the same thing every day, but in general, I take B-complex, vitamin K2, selenium, manganese, molybdenum, and boron. And sometimes I isolate the B vitamins. Usually things are spread out depending on how I feel, depending on the dose. And keep in mind, that's the B-complex on organ supplements because a regular B-complex you buy is going to have too much of certain ones and it's not good. But uh, for now, let's sit down and eat and uh, see how we feel. So I usually eat most of this bag, which is like 600 calories, so it's not really that much. I think an interesting anecdote for the water kefir is we don't know those people that can eat whatever they want and their skin doesn't break out, they don't gain weight. It's because they have an incredibly healthy gut microbiome, which this water kefir is kind of replicating. So we have this on Frankie's Free Range Foods. As the water kefir, plenty in stock for you guys. And you can also buy your own grains and make it yourself. So you too can eat potato chips and cookies without getting acne. But has to be drank with the meal. I mean, the main reason I like this meal is because I don't have to cook so much. I don't have to make beans. I don't have to make rice. I just sear the steak real quick and that's it. Ready to eat. All right, so I got like one bite of the sandwich left. I ate most of the bag of chips. There's only a couple left. I think the sandwich, the key for the chips all together, it's probably around like 1,200 calories, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Uh-oh, vegan boys are getting excited. Uh, so... I don't want to like tell you guys what's in my weight gain smoothie because I think I might do a video on Saturday and I don't want to spoil it. So uh, definitely tune in for Saturday's video and I'll show you guys like a weight gain prebiotic smoothie that's also good for detox because it's stimulating like your liver with all the fat and sugar and stuff. But uh, I was having grapes like two, three days ago, just some organic grapes after the meal. Um, also some organic bananas sometimes and bananas from like a... Uh, a carbohydrate profile perspective they're good you know they have a nice balance of glucose fructose and starch however there's certain anti-nutrients in bananas that are very bad for the gut lining however with the water kefir I don't seem to have any issues so when I used to eat bananas and I used to like like cutting them in half and I put them in a pan and get them nice and caramelized with coconut oil and it was delicious but I would break out like crazy with the water kefir, doesn't matter. And I think they're the most calorically dense fruit because of the lower water content. I'm definitely getting a lot more potassium because I switched from rice to the potato chips and also the bananas. So a lot of sodium, a lot of potassium. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you don't think I'm too crazy uh, before I come out with my book kind of explaining why I'm following certain diets. I think I mentioned it like one or two day of eatings ago. It's, it's more about what foods are minimally damaging uh, to the liver and allow your body to just heal. Uh, so if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can go to frank to support me through all of my businesses. Uh, Frankie Syringe Me, we got the ribeye steaks, we got all the supplements on organsupplements.com, Frankie's Free Range Foods. I got too much shit going on and I'm going to lose my mind.